Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to group items in a pivot table. Now, let's say for example we have a small table here, just a table that lists the population for the top 16 countries here, uh, China to Germany. I'll go ahead and create a pivot table out of this. Let me go ahead and show you. You could just go on insert and we create a pivot table on a new worksheet and this is based on table one here click OK and I'm just gonna pull in the country name and then the population and so basically it almost is the same as the other one let me go ahead and just sort this right click and then go sort largest by smallest and I'm also gonna change the the form from the compact form to a little bit uh, something different. So the compact form usually default you have the row labels. It's very generic. I'm going to go up under design. So I'm going to go into report layout and just select tabular form. And so the field names kind of are brought in um, themselves. And so it doesn't have a generic field in here. So let's say for example we wanted to kind of group these. Now, let's say we couldn't really uh, change the grouping here. You know if we wanted to group it and we want to add something like region and China would belong to the Asian region, United States maybe, in, in terms of region, maybe continent, and the United States would be in the North America or the Americas continent. And we couldn't really change it here, but we wanted to kind of change it here so we can do a little bit more, more grouping, a little bit more of a high, higher level type of sorting or filtering. We can actually do that here. And so, for example, I can select the items that I want to, to group. So let's say I select China, and then uh, press the Control key, Press India. Now uh, these are going to be part of the Asia continent. Uh, Indonesia. Let me select um, Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh, Japan, Philippines, Vietnam. So these are all kind of part of the uh, Asia continent. So I'm going to go ahead, right click, and then select uh, Group, and it's going to put create a new field. So you see a new field here is created called country name 2 because I select it within the country name field. It also has that field here and I can ch actually change the, the names. So this one I'll call Asia. Oops. And then I can also change the field name here. So I'm going to select the field name and I'm going to change that to re uh, continent or maybe just region. I'll just call it region because I'm going to have some different namings for the continent slash slash region area and so that's one that's one way that we can do it and um, there's another way that we can uh, also add the grouping uh, via the ribbon so let me just select uh, another set so maybe I'll just select uh, the North America the Americas North America and South America so I'll select Brazil press the control key and Mexico and then the United States so these three countries will represent uh, the Americas and so I can also go up to um, Analyze and under the group, group, uh, select the group selection command. So I've clicked that. It does the same thing as right click and select group. So I have my second group here. I'm going to call this the Americas. Oops, Americas and then north uh, slash south. All right, press return and then I've got my, let me go ahead and double click the column length so that, that will fit. And maybe I'll just select the rest of these and just put under miscellaneous. Right click and then group and then select that miscellaneous. M-I-S-C. Right? And so now I have three groupings. And what it does, you can see now that when I created the groupings, of course there's different items, multiple items under the group. I can actually select, expand, and collapse it with these uh, little icons here. I can collapse that and now we have a little bit more of a visual way to kind of collapse and expand and make it a little bit more easier to see things. I can also right click and uh, expand and collapse everything. So we have these different options. I'm going to collapse the entire field. So this entire field is collapsed and now I just have my regions, Asia, Americas, miscellaneous. And so this grouping allows me to do that because I put multiple items under groupings and maybe, maybe I didn't need the country name. I can take that out. Uh, and now I can just have it under the region, so it's created a region field for me. So that's the way that we can create groups. So it makes it easier maybe to expand and collapse and visually see the pivot table. We can we can do it if we can't do it under the source data table out of it. We can do it into the pivot table that's there. And so it kind of works if you have a few groupings and you don't have that, that many things and. You, that many items and you just want to kind of group some of them. So it gives you a better way to see the data at a higher level. 
So that's grouping in the pivot table. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.